light to rise when the sun she rises early in the morning. I like to hear them small birds singing merrily upon the lailum. And to rap for the life of a country boy. And to ramble in the new moon. Is your house which do you prefer? They are practically identical. Of course, if the dark gets dirty, it will not show. But the light... The dark, then. The light is a good deal prettier. <gasps> Miss Woodhouse, what's the matter? Miss Woodhouse. Miss Woodhouse. How do you do? And you, Miss Smith. I saw you through the window. I saw you through the window. <laughs> Miss Woodhouse, I bring happy news. We have had a letter this very morning from my niece, Jane Fairfax. I hope that she's well. In normal course, she writes on a Tuesday. But today, oh, her health. Oh, Miss Woodhouse, you are so very kind to inquire. Poor Jane. She was at Weymouth with Colonel Campbell. And uh, oh, where is the letter? Oh, it must not be far off. Such an unexpected... Oh, it's on the glove stand. It was with the gloves. It was with the gloves. Yes, at Weymouth with Colonel Campbell and his wife and Jane's dear friend, Miss Campbell, who is recently married. She is Mrs Dixon now. And oh dear, Mr Dixon, who is the most charming young man, rendered to Jane a great service in recent days. They were, oh, too pretty. Yes, they were out in a party, oh, in a party on the water. And Jane, by the sudden whirling around of something or other in the sails, would have been dashed to the sea at once. And actually, all but gone. But Mr. Dixon, with the greatest presence of mind, caught hold of her habit and saved her life. Oh, to think that poor Jane may have perished. I cannot think of it without shaking. She, an orphan. I am very pleased that Miss Fairfax was not harmed. How gratified Jane will be to know that she has such dear, devoted friends. Heaven forbid that I should ever bore anybody half as much about all the nightlies together as Miss Bates does about Jane Fairfax. <laughs> One is sick of the very name, Jane Fairfax. Every letter from her is read 40 times over. And if she does but knit a pair of garters, one hears of nothing else for a whole month. <gasps> it is Robert Martin. Miss Woodhouse? Is he like what you expected? What do you think of him? Uh, I had no right to expect much. And indeed I did not expect much, but I had imagined him, I confess, a degree or two nearer. Gentility. To be sure, he's not so genteel as to a real gentleman. 